you know, maybe it's my Protestant work ethic or my Amish type Slovenian vizier upbringing, but um, no matter how bad I feel, no matter how physically sick or anxious I feel, or even depressed, I, I've been depressed at times in the past. Um, today I had to wake up around four in the morning to get myself out very early, and you can see it's still totally dark and extremely early, um, and public transportation doesn't start running here until five in the morning. Um, but I love to force myself to get a backbone and get out there for what has to be done every day. And I remember it was about seven years ago, maybe eight, no, maybe maybe nine years ago, I started saying the Lord's Prayer daily. You know, Our Father Who Art in Heaven. Because I used to listen to BBC Radio, and uh, they would recite that once a day. And I found myself reciting it with them, like a good little clone, and uh, memorized it in that way. And I just found it uh, a good affirmation to recite aloud, once a day, quietly. You can do it anywhere. I haven't done it in a long time. Maybe I should again. But I don't think that you can understand. Um, I really am disabled. And, well, at this point, they've decided it's not mental illness. But uh, it doesn't matter. What if it were, you know? It's, it's physical in my case. But I'm in a strange country. I'm alone. I just have a husband who's nutty. And even if he weren't nutty, he can't be there with me 24-7 to protect me every inch of the way. And it wouldn't be fair of me to do that. So if you're thinking about moving to another country and having a relationship, please understand that it's, it's just not realistic for you to expect them to be your savior and to baby you indefinitely. You know, you have to get up on your own two feet and look after yourself and adapt. And you will get post-traumatic stress syndrome. But um, I remember about seven years ago it started. Oh, no, maybe a little bit more. Oh, no, yeah, a little bit more. I had to master, really master, long-distance public transportation here in France myself. I had to figure out the money how to pay for it, how to work for it, to get the money to pay for it, how to speak French, how to deal with it, how to figure it out, how to travel to faraway places to work for a day or whatever, and find food and a bathroom and water and get along with people and stuff. And it was terrifying. And for somebody who had anxiety problems, this was just like crushing. You know, I just wanted to stay in the apartment and hide and be, in, be a housewife. But I couldn't do that because we really needed me to work. And, you know, we were like down to the wire for like the first 10 years we were together. We didn't even get our first bed until we were married for more than 10 years. I just got fed up. I went and put it on an American credit card. He was shocked, you know. It was about $800 for the bed and about a thousand dollars for the the mattresses but I just had to do it I, I I didn't want to sleep on the floor anymore and I think that the best thing for me at that time no matter how horrible it was was to get up and get out there in the morning and to have the discipline to plan for it all the night before because I'm in terrible pain in the morning so I have to get myself cleaned up and my clothes set out and my food set out and my money arranged and I have to look at maps and stuff like that and check timetables and figure out where it is I have to go and confirm things and stuff. But while I was doing that, I remember feeling so lost and sick 
and scared and saying the Lord's Prayer and just praying to get through the day. And then when I did get through the day, I felt kind of proud. And I know that pride is a sin, but I think that cured me of having anxiety problems which, believe me, are a lot worse when you're an immigrant. You have no idea. All right. Talk to you later, I hope. Bye-bye.